Hello everyone. Today, in this video, we are going to study how to calculate Call Pearson's coefficient of correlation using a shortcut method. So why, why we need a shortcut method? In order to make this number very small, then it is easy for us to calculate. So if you do not know how to calculate using a direct method, you can see the video, which we have done it already, the uh, link for this in the description box. Uh, how to calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation in a shortcut method? We are going to see by an example. Before that, we just see what is the formula. We are going to use it here. So now, shortcut method here, we are using deviations here. What are these deviations here? See, I'll call it as deviation dx is the deviation for x. Here, we are selecting x minus a. Similarly, dy, we are also calculating the same thing using a y minus a. So I will call it as y minus b for the clarity. Here, a and b are some number by which I am calculating the deviations, most probably just like an assumed mean method. This is a bigger formula. You can use it to calculate. So we'll quickly move on to the sum now. So how to calculate this? This is the direct method uh, to calculate uh, the coefficient of correlation. This is an alternative method. Here, we are calling it as shortcut method, okay? Shortcut method. So this is the shortcut method to find out the call Pearson's coefficient of correlation. We have done already the direct method two ways, okay? So that if you do not know, just visit the um, link so that you can just learn this two direct methods here. Okay, so direct method as well as shortcut method. Here we are going to see the shortcut method. So now, first of all, what I'm going to do it here is I'm going to draw the uh, tabular column first where X and Y I'm going to fill up. Okay, as usual, I'm going to fill up these two columns, which is given in the sum. Okay, so now after filling this, I am finding out which is A. I choose a number which is easy for you to subtract from each and every value. You can choose anything, okay? You can choose it from the middle or choose it from the last. Sometimes it is uh, by, by, by experience, you will get it. If, if I choose 15, it is easy for me to subtract. You see here, 14 is there. So one, the only number which is a little bigger is 12 and 17. See, all the numbers are one and two. Like that, you are going to choose it, okay? It is your wish. You can choose any number. I'm going to choose 15, okay, for me. After 15, this column is filled out. How the column is filled out, you see here, what is my value here? It is 14. So I'm subtracting the 14 from 15 here. Here, 12 minus 15. Here, 14 minus 15. Here, 16 minus 15. Here, 16 minus 16, 17 minus 16, then 16 minus 16. Where are the first numbers are coming from? Here, okay? Right. So now after this, I'm going to write it here. I'm going to show it how to write this. 14 minus uh, 15, which gives you how much? It's minus 1. 12 minus 15, which gives you now. 14 minus 15, which gives you 1. 16 minus 15 gives you also 1. Here also 1. Here it is 2. Okay. So now here it is 16, which gives you 1. Here. 15, 15, which gives you zero. Similarly, I'm going to select. So now I'm going to square it. Okay, this is nothing but see this particular column is squared. Okay, that's what is dx square. Don't have the confusion of deviation into x square. Don't make this mistake here. It should be dx the whole square. This is what will be written in the book. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to square it. One square is one here. Three square is nine. Uh, this uh, one square is one, one square one, one square one, two square is four, one square is one, zero square is zero. After this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate for dy. There I'm going to choose b here, b here. Uh, how to calculate that b? b I'm selecting it from this particular this particular uh, 14 here, okay? So now this particular 14, I'm going to select it here. So I'm going to show it here, okay? Now that is what is the B. So here we have already selected A. So I'm going to select B here. So I'm going to show it, I'm taking this B as 14. B as 14, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this particular Y, okay? What is my Y here? 13. So I'm going to subtract this 13 minus 14. 
this value i'm going to write 11 minus 14 this value i'm going to write as 10 minus 14 this value i'm going to write 15 minus 14 this value is 15 minus 14 for me then 9 minus 14 for this value here it is 14 minus 14 this 17 minus 14 okay so now i'm going to show it here you can see here now this 13 and minus which gives you one year 11 3 and 10 means it is 4 15 minus uh, 14 which gives you 1 15 minus 14 which gives you 1 9 minus uh, uh, 14 which gives you 5 14 minus 14 is 0 17 minus 14 is 3 so then what i'm going to do it i'm going to square it one square is here it is 1 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 1 square is 1 1 square is 1 5 square is 25, 0 square is 0, 3 square is 9. So that's what I'm going to do it here. Now I'm going to multiply these two. This particular column is the multiplication of this column as well as another uh, dx column here. Okay, now these two I'm going to multiply here. I'm going to write it here. So 1 into 1, which gives you 1 here. Similarly, 3 into 3, which gives you 9. 1 into 4, which gives you 4. 1 into 1, which gives you 1, 1 into 1, which gives you 1, 0 into 5, okay, which gives you 10. So, note down the sign, which is very important, right? 1 into 0, which gives you 0, 0 into 9, which gives you 0, okay? Now, that's what is that. So, then we are going to total it all the values, okay, according to the uh, formula, formula which I have given here. So, according to the formula, I'm going to total all the columns here. First, dx column, then this is dx square column, then this is dy column, then it is dy square column, then dx dy. Then these values I'm going to substitute in this particular formula, all right? So I'm going to substitute here, just check. Where from this eight is coming? Eight is the number which is given, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to write it here, okay? So now zero into eight, which gives you zero. So now 48 minus zero, this particular value I have calculated here, this particular value I have calculated here, then I'm going to write it as 40, 48 to 249.41, then I'm going to divide it using a calculator, I can find it out 0 0.19, so this gives you a weak uh, correlation, then you can write down in the inference, okay, this is how you will calculate your call Pearson's coefficient of correlation in, I can call it as short Cut method. Okay, so now direct method we have done already. Okay, in the previous video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.